working at Claremore High School for seven years. <laughs> so my favorite thing about being a teacher has to be the connections with the kids. Um, I love being able to watch them grow, specifically since I teach sophomore English. Watching them develop over those next two years is just so amazing to see the people that they become, watching them, you know, celebrating their successes, being there for them. It's just amazing to get to see that change in them and know that maybe I had just a little part in that. So, did you know a lot about what went on in his life? Um, most of it, yes. Who do you think is to blame for all of this? Um, I would say Cassius. COVID was definitely a struggle. Um, one of the things is I had never videotaped myself giving a lesson or anything like that. And so I had to do that. Uh, the first time I did a 30 minute video and at the end realized there was no audio. Um, so that was definitely a learning curve. Um, also with the students not being here in person, like with distance learning, I always thought, oh, I'm really thorough. I give a lot of directions on understand. But then I realized that not only do I need to video myself for my auditory and visual learners, but those, def those definitions and explanations have to be really thorough so that anybody could understand them. And I think that that made me a better teacher because I realized that something that I may understand, they need a little bit more in that process. So I love being a zebra. Um, I didn't graduate from Claremore, but I tell everybody I meet that I'm a red zebra. I love it, the inclusivity that we have here. We have so many opportunities. It doesn't matter what your passion is. Maybe you love to knit, you want to mentor somebody, you want to shadow, you want to be in Christian club. We have so many opportunities. And if the opportunity is not there, then students can create their own club or organization. And that's so amazing because I think it makes everybody feel like they have a place at Claremore High School. I also love, and I know because I did my internship here, this was the one place that I wanted the job after my internship because everybody was so nice and helpful and accommodating. And I see that, um, that our teachers, they go the extra mile and our support staff. And it's just really amazing. I really do feel like we're a family here at Claremore High School. Mrs. Laura is also our FUSE sponsor, and that's our mentoring program for the freshmen that our juniors and seniors um, run. And she is an excellent, excellent organizer of this um, program. And the students love, they have been thriving under her uh, direction in that. Uh, she also is a help to the counselors through our ZAP program, our Zebra, Zebra Advisement Program. And um, she helps kind of give the teacher perspective of of how things should be done or said or the next step in ZAP. And so she's been a great asset to our school outside of the classroom. So I know that English isn't always everybody's favorite subject. And if anyone knows me, I'm a complete nerd. Um, I'm such a dork, like my passion for this, I think uh, bleeds through, but I really want the kids to get involved. And even if they just remember me putting on a silly costume, um, when we read the tragedy of Julius Caesar, we wear togas, we do a murder trial so that each of them are getting to play a part and really immersing in that. For Halloween, I'm known for always having an Edgar Allan Poe costume, whether it's actually playing Poe or being the Red Death or a character from one of our stories. I feel like that really brings things to life. The kids also know me for my animated voices. <laughs> Um, everybody has an accent, whether it's hick or it's really prim and proper. And so I think that really brings the stories to life for the students. Yeah, one of the things that is so amazing and it makes it so hard when they do leave as seniors is you know, just that little saying hi in the hallway, or I had a student the other day that emailed me and said that um, I was really helpful in her writing process, but also being able to express those emotions in her writing and how that helped. And that means so much to me that I can just have a positive effect on them. I'm somebody who they know is in their corner. I have a lot of students that will come back and celebrate and want me to do recommendations for them. And then they, 
you know, come in the class when they get accepted into that program. And it just, it makes me feel really amazing. And it's amazing that they want me to be a part of that extended journey. Uh, she builds great relationships with the students because they're always willing to say, call out and say, hey, Mrs. Laura, how are you doing as they're walking down the hall?